Good morning, everyone. All right, today we're going to make breakfast. Now, why are we making breakfast? Easy enough. You have to start your day. You want to finish your workout strong. Uh, get some good protein and some carbs and vegetables in your stomach. So we're going to start with this. It's pretty straightforward. This is actually only takes about eight minutes. So if you want to start your day strong, this is the way you do it. And it is easy. So here we go. All we're going to do, we're going to start with our vegetables. So we're going to do with some broccoli here. Put that up. Broccoli is uh, super important, along with cabbage. So today we're going to do cabbage and broccoli and eggs. I don't really think that uh, organic or non-organic makes a whole lot of difference. Just make sure you get this in your diet. Especially as you get older, broccoli becomes uh, even more important with your proteins. If you can't do broccoli, find some other green vegetable that will uh, work for you. I'm going to do a big meal here, relatively small, take about that much. Just cut that broccoli up into small pieces. It doesn't have to be anything particularly special looking. All right, so moving on to our mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Got to have the mushrooms. Vitamin D and uh, it's just good for you. Again, nothing special about cutting vegetables. Just cut them up nicely. All right, good. And cabbage. Cabbage is super important. Cabbage actually has some uh, good nitrates in there. So if you are uh, looking to build your nitrate load, this is a great way to start. So in this particular meal, we have our vitamin Ds. We got all kinds of crazy vitamins in here along with your protein. Simple enough. So that's all we're going to do. Now we're going to take this uh, stainless steel pan here and just going to go ahead and drop it on in. And uh, we're actually only going to, this only takes about four minutes uh, to steam up the vegetables. And then we're going to move on to adding our eggs. Now you can substitute eggs for beef or chicken or whatever you want in the last four minutes. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, put as much olive oil as you can, as you can handle on your morning breakfast. Just pour it on that. And that's all we're gonna do. We're not gonna mix it up. We're just gonna leave it like that. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes. So we're going to let that go for about four minutes, which will give us enough time to uh, set up our eggs. Do about three eggs to start. Two or three. I think three is good. By the time we uh, set up our eggs and uh, clean up our cooking area, our four minutes will be up. All right, so let's go ahead and clean up our area here. Put our mushrooms away, put our broccoli away, Put our cabbage away. All right, that was easy enough. And now we wait a few more minutes. I always like to add a garlic syrup to everything I do, so go ahead and toss some garlic salt on there as well if you like. I think most of us are uh, deficient in uh, sodium in the morning, so just throw it on there. Four minutes are up, so uh, let's go ahead and add our eggs. Let's take the eggs we prepared a minute ago and just put it on.
and the top. Now, that's all there is to it. So we're just gonna leave it like that for another four minutes, and then we are going to take it out. Okay, four minutes have passed, and we've cleaned up our uh, preparation area here, and we're ready to serve. So let's bring out our bowl, and uh, let's cut it up. Now, if you like your uh, eggs done a little bit more overdone, <laughs> Then um, just go ahead and turn it over for a minute or so um, just to finish it off. But this is looking pretty good to me. All right. And that is all there is to. All right. That's our meal for the day. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day.